Hello everyone. So I've decided to make some tutorials regarding Reactor working with Logic Pro X. Uh, I've seen quite a few videos using other DAWs or in standalone mode, but I think some someone should really focus on actually using Logic Pro X. Um, I'm very I'm quite a new producer. Um, I've had this program actually for a couple of years, uh, Reactor, but just can't get to grips with it. So I thought if I could create some tutorials, maybe I can learn and try and teach people at the same time so fingers crossed this helps you guys out so just getting started come down to the channel strip area and you can load your instrument up by going down to AU instruments uh, native instruments and reactor stereo so hey mum so once that's loaded up you should have a screen that looks like this uh, if I just go, it should look something like that. Um, and if you click on your factory area, you've got all your, your factory instruments there. Now, just before I get started on, on the tutorial, it's worth just clicking on this little eye here because that will uh, allow you to have the sort of information toggle mode. So when you hold your mouse over different elements, it'll explain what they are. So that's very useful. Um, but today I'll just discuss the, the synthesizers and um, the effects that can go with them. So if you come down to factory and then instruments there, scroll down to the bottom, you've got synthesizers there. And today, the one I'm going to be focusing on is green matrix. So you can either double click that or drag it across. And it'll come up with this sort of system window. Now here's where you can add your synths, your effects and other elements here. You can get very complex. As I say, this is just a beginner's approach, but um, you've got your synth there. And what you do is you drag the left channel to the left output and the right channel to the right output there and then that should allow you to make some sounds so if I play my keyboard now yeah you can hear that um, so to actually see the synth if I click on the edit toggle, toggle mode up here I've got all my presets in here um, and then you've got the layout of the synth here oscillators 1 to 3, LFO 1 to three envelopes, two filters, delay, chorus, pan, distortion, etc, etc. So, I mean, the synth, the, the, some of the presets are very good already. There's 35 on the synth, but I know there's, there's hundreds on the other ones. Um, let's just give it a little whirl. I mean that's already sounding pretty good. You can play around with the cutoff. Other filters, delay, chorus. I'm not gonna go into all those effects. You see them on other synths as well, but um mainly just to add the actual factory effects in the in the side over here. So one other cool thing about this, and it's useful in logic to know, if you click on the green matrix name, you get a blue rectangle that appears around it. That allows you to then use your up and down buttons on your keyboard to actually just cycle through the um, the presets there. So you can have a lot of fun just playing around with that already. Um, okay, so I'll just choose a preset there. Um, now it's worth knowing that back up in the factory box up here you've got ensembles and you've got instruments. Now instruments are standalone instruments, ensembles are groups of instruments so the effects within this actually count as a separate instrument. So if you want to add an effect you need to go to the ensemble. Um, so if I click on that, Go into the classics, you can find the classic synthesizers. So I click on that, and then down here we've got our green matrix ensemble. If I double click on that, ask me if I want to say, I'll just click no for that. And then here the ensemble is open. So if I click on the toggle edit mode, instead of opening the normal system window, it'll pop up with this little side, um, side section here. And then I can click on the uh, same icon there to actually open that up again. Now, if I go back to the, the factory section on the side, 
what you want to do is there are actually effects within the ensembles but you want to go back to the instruments down here and then you can go to effects and you've got a list of loads of loads of different effects here um, so just going to put a random one on here so whack that in and then what you have to do is just attach it in between the output and the, the synth so if I click on the wire you can click on it and then double click delete wire click and then double click again left to left right to right left to left right to right then clicking back on the toggle edit mode again and you can see that now my um, effects have opened up beside my synth there so whilst that box is highlighted I can just play around just whack some chorus reverb on <laughs> So, I mean, that's quite a nice sort of deep housey bass line sound there. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, one thing I was to say, be careful of, sometimes you put effects on and it can make the instrument very loud. So, just maybe keep the volume low when you're getting used to it, just to get to grips with it. And then within this effect, I mean, you can see there's different things, chorus, tremolo, phaser, flanger, compression, reverb, delay, etc. You've got tube compression up here as well. And what you can do is you can layer different different instruments up here to get a really unique sound. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the first tutorial. I wanted to keep it a bit shorter and then I'll look into some other things for the next one anyway. But uh, if you've got any comments, whack them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Cheers.